What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just bought this Ken Bar virtual reality headset because it was pretty value priced and wanted to show it to you. Really, what inspired me is as I was, as I unboxed it here, uh, I was on YouTube and I noticed you can watch these videos and they have a setting where you can change the setting to you know, uh, virtual reality glasses. And what it does is it kind of splits the image. So like you're looking at this right now and then it would split it right down the center. So you've got the same image kind of left and right eye and then it kind of fisheye lenses them. And I thought, man, it'd be cool if I could, you know, put some glasses up to my uh, face and look at those. Now, ah, there's the instructions. Ah, there they are in English. And looks like there is an app that you wanna use. And I also thought, now these might be a little hardcore for using like on an airplane, but as opposed to, and I know this is a first world problem, but when I put my iPad down on an airplane tray and watch a movie, you're always looking down on it. After several hours, that can be kind of annoying, which is why the screens on airplanes are like in the headrest of the seat in front of you, so you're looking straight ahead. Uh, it'd be nice to have that image right there, but I thought, man, if I had a pair of glasses where I could watch the movie I'm watching, you know, and just look wherever I want to look, that would be pretty awesome. But alas, I don't know if these will work like that, but maybe the app will do that. But so I'm going to do a pretty thorough uh, test here of what these can burrs can do and kind of just show you, you know, the ins and outs. So first of all, we get a couple of cards here. I don't know what they say. We do have the instruction uh, card there. We also have a little microfiber cloth for probably for cleaning it up. And as you can see right here, we've got the can bore glasses. Now, uh, the this outer portion is like a smoked lens that says can bore on it. If I hit this button right here, it opens up. It looks like we have a little spring loaded. Let's see if I can focus it on there for you. Spring loaded metal clip it has a little felt pad on here, presumably for holding your smartphone up against the uh, two lenses here. This is all foam along the outside. We have a couple of dimples here, which I think just kind of space it out. They're not particularly soft, they're just plastic. And then we obviously have the two lenses for viewing things. So the, the your phone will fit generally inside of here. Now, I have an iPhone 6 Plus and a 7 Plus here for testing, and you really do need to be kind of on the bigger side. And it looks like this one, even though I have a case on it, and we'll use it without the case, uh, it looks like it should fit in there barely. I think so. Now, if you have something like an iPhone X, or, sorry, iPhone 10, like this one, this is gonna be smaller, even though the screen is bigger. Let's see and it looks like it's not going to center it looks like we've got a lot of play in there right but because the screen is actually larger than the plus i think if you could get it to center here and i'm not sure how you do that but if you could kind of center it and then close the thing up it might hold it in place but definitely for and i think when i ordered it i had to put in my iphone hey what's happening uh, iPhone 7 Plus series but as you can see there this little spring arm is pretty stiff and while I might be able to kind of knock the phone around it's holding it right in place so I'm just gonna keep that in mind let's, let's open it up again all right so we're gonna use this with the plus nice little, little button there we also have a little wheel here oh which moves them from side to side wider and narrower Once I have a little uh, bungee cord here and that is for putting into the phone in the three and a half millimeter audio jack which is interesting which will be kind of an interesting situation considering that the iPhones don't have jacks now you could use the adapter there because you have built-in headphones here which look like pretty standard headphone cups uh, pretty small though kind of over the ear or on the ear not over the ear and they're on little kind of sheet metal arms, so they kind of flex a little bit here. They also have a silver knob right here. Not exactly sure if that adjusts the... Oh, look, at the, here's what that adjusts. It adjusts this forward and back and does it on both sides. So you can kind of extend it out. So you're moving the camera 
further away from the lenses or closer to them. You're not moving the lenses, you're just moving this, this outer housing. So you'd wanna use both of these uh, simultaneously in concert. Now you have a over the head strap here, plastic domed piece with a pleather perforated pad here. And then you have an elastic strap, kind of a little, just like a headlamp. And then you have these elastic straps all the way around, kind of this pleather back piece. So that should hold you in place pretty well. I'm just kind of curious how they don't interfere with the earphones though. Uh, I would thought maybe these would angle, move around a little bit. And then also on the back side here, you have this like pleather perforated um, soft material to block out any light. And as you can see, the two lenses inside here, I'm gonna, are protected with plastic. So we're gonna peel those off. And now we can see in here, and if we put the, put something in front of there, we have, you can see my hand. So, uh, nice cutout for the nose here too. Oh, and then volume rocker on the bottom, and then an okay button right here. Not exactly sure what that does. I don't see anything happening. So I'm gonna take a little time with the instructions, and then we'll see if we can get it working here uh, shooting video of it might be a little tricky, but we're going to do the best. I'm going to do the best I can. All right, guys. So, you know, um, obviously virtual reality is all the rage right now. And these things are pretty cool. Um, I've been playing around with them and I can tell you, I tried to shoot some video of it. It's basically worthless to try to shoot it to you, but I will just tell you, man, it, it's kind of cool. Um, I know that picking up a set of these is not that expensive, but the experience is pretty awesome. So a couple things I want to show you is, you know, I put, I had to take my, uh, iPhone 7 Plus out of its case and I put it down here. Now, one of the things that you'll have to do is because the power button here, um, you know, hits the, the bottom of the tray, if you put it down this way, you have to put it with that power button up. And so you can kind of lay it in there and put it down. Now, if you have a connector for the lightning cable to uh, adapt to this a three and a half millimeter audio cable, great. What I actually did here is I just grabbed a pair of the, the actual Apple earbuds and plugged it in. And you can see here that if I close it up, there's plenty of space on the side that uh, this can come out. So I didn't actually use these, I was using my earbuds, uh, which it worked fine. Uh, two things I wanna tell you. If you download the app in the instructions, it actually downloads Google Cardboard app. Uh, which is great uh, it worked great and it was really immersive man i you know you can probably find video of what that is it's a total you know, like polygonal like kind of almost a minecraft like scene with rocks and cliffs and birds and uh, whales and the whole nine yards and it's really pretty immersive in the the reaction time there's really no discernible latency so as you're looking around and I'll tell you you got to take your glasses off I'm gonna put it on here as you're looking around obviously everything is fake it's rendered but the experience is really quite good and the thing about the, the the glasses here and then I'm sure in Google Glass too is that you get a pretty good uh, feel for the field of view. So I wouldn't say it's It's not like 180 degrees, but it's probably like this. It's probably You know 40 or 50 degrees and you move around and it feels great and up and down and they've obviously rendered The whole thing in 3d which is which is pretty awesome and it's great to kind of experience that I didn't spend a lot of time in the VR, but uh, it, was, it was really kind of awesome you it kind of makes me want to download some more applications and it was really easy to kind of dial in everything too. Um, I didn't get cross-eyed or anything like that. So to kind of dial in kind of the distance as well as the pupillary distance uh, worked great. A couple other things I want to say, maybe just one more thing I want to say. So I did go into YouTube and I was actually loaded Jay Leno's Garage. And in the settings, you can actually select uh, Google Cardboard. I mean, it's obviously YouTube and Google. And I put them in here and I was watching Jay Leno's Garage. And what ends up happening is it kind of looks like a movie theater screen in front of you. I mean, it's pretty close. And uh, like I said, there's no cross-eyedness. You know, the image looks great. And it really does work for like watching video. Now, um, what I will say is because you're taking your iPhone screen and splitting it up, and now you only really have half of the pixels here, when I did that, I was definitely able to kind of see the pixelation, right? It wasn't horrible, 
but it's just so noticeable on you know things that are so high def right now right and so uh, you can kind of see it's not grainy by any means but you can just see the pixels and that's just kind of the nature of that now a, a phone that that you're using the whole screen instead of it kind of working for both eyes only half the screen is working for each eye and so you just get a little pixelation a little kind of the the, the lower resolution effect uh, but it does work shockingly well now I know that some of the smartphones out there have higher pixel densities than others especially from the iPhone uh, you know which is like 300 ish pixels per inch and some of the other ones have like 450 so you might not see that much of an issue you know uh, with other phones but it really is immersive and I will tell you what, you know, I'm sure this is better than Google Cardboard and it really does kind of want to make me show this to other people. Really good virtual reality is probably uh, really, really amazing. I mean, I, I think I'm so impressed with what this looks like and feels like and, ex you know, the experience that you kind of have. Um, that especially in photorealistic environments, that'd be pretty awesome. Now, in some of the 360 degree video that is out there, I know if you use it with this and the accelerometer in your phone, you know, you're kind of moving wherever they shot the video, but you can look around. Obviously, that's the benefit of the 360 video. So I am going to look at that too. That could be really, really awesome. It's, it's really kind of a a game changer for people who can't go to certain places and really want to experience them you know for someone who's hiking on a mountain carrying a 360 camera um, I kind of want to get one now to be honest because this is so interesting so that people can kind of experience some of the things that I experience you know in a more immersive way put these on and look wherever you want to look you know go on a tourism trip and and really kind of look at things even though I may not be looking at it uh, maybe even the summer go on a drive with the top down check out downtown Chicago it really kind of gives me a bunch of ideas so I'm really really impressed with this I wish I could share the experience with you more but you're just gonna have to take my word for it that if you have a large smartphone and you know kind of want to get a taste of the VR without spending uh, you know, redonkulous amounts of money on kind of the really high-end brands like Oculus Rift and things like that. Man, impressive, impressive. Now, it doesn't require you to have this particular rig, but man, it was cool. It was definitely cool. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. I mean, even if you're mildly curious and have a few bucks to burn, I would try it. Check it out. Peter Von Panda, out.